God's love is richer, richer, deeper, deeper, fuller, fuller, sweeter, 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 sweeter as the days go by. Hello, it's Friday, January 22nd, 2021. I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman from First Baptist Church in Play Center, Kansas. And today, we are continuing our look at some of the short and sweet Bible verses that are meant to be an encouragement and a challenge to us as believers in Jesus Christ. And today we look to the epistle to the Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 says, Rejoice, Lord, always. And again, I say, rejoice. Well, a few days ago, we talked about repetition in the Bible and how when uh, repetition occur occurs, it is to emphasize uh, a thought or an idea. In the fourth verse of Philippians, uh, we see the word rejoice twice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Now, uh, it is interesting that we have the word at the very beginning of the, the verse and at the very end. So that also is meant to emphasize that point. So. Rejoice, as we talked a couple weeks ago in a sermon here at First Baptist Church in Clay Center, is a word that means that we recognize the grace of God, that we experience the grace of God in our lives. It means that we're aware that God is working. And you know what? How true that is. God is working in our lives as we allow him to do that. And so today, as disciples of Jesus Christ, we have cause to rejoice. To rejoice in the Lord. And what does it say? Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Our sermon series for this month at First Baptist Church has been looking at 1 Thessalonians 5. And 1 Thessalonians 5.16 says rejoice always. This verse, Philippians 4.4, 4, is very similar to it, isn't it? Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. And so today we offer this verse as an encouragement to us to remember that God desires to work in our lives. God desires to pour out upon us His grace. And so today, let us challenge ourselves to allow Him to do that, to allow ourselves to recognize that God's grace is working in our life and to make the choice to partner with God, to see Him working, to recognize Him working, to celebrate Him choosing to work in our lives lives. How is God working in your life today? How would you like him to work in your life? Are you willing to let him work in your life? Today we must each make the choice to rejoice, to recognize that God is working. God's grace is poured out upon our lives as we allow him to do so. Thank you so much for joining us today for this Ministry Minute. I know it is a short and sweet one. Our next Ministry Minute will be Monday, January 25th, 2021. We look forward to seeing you again real soon here at First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas. Know that we're praying for you. We pray for your family. We pray for our nation. And indeed, we pray for this world. His love is richer, richer, deeper, deeper, fuller. Sweeter, 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 sweeter as the day.